This is an AMI This Week Shortcut. Welcome to Animal Class. I'm Alex Smythe, and I'm here at the Edmonton Valley Zoo, where I'm joined by zookeeper Joelle Epp. Joelle, you brought a reindeer out for us to learn about today. What can you tell me about? So this is Magni, one of the seven reindeer that we have at the zoo here. Um, reindeer are a species of deer that are found in um, northern Europe and Asia. And we actually do technically have a species of reindeer here. They're called caribou. They just call them a different name in Europe and Asia. And so what's the difference between a reindeer and a caribou? Is there really any difference? There isn't really, um, aside from size, because they've been semi-domesticated in northern Europe and Asia. So they're a little bit smaller than caribou that you would find here, like in Jasper National Park. Um, I would say reindeer get to about a meter high and about two meters long, and they weigh about 200 pounds on average. And so how much does a reindeer eat in a typical day? We feed them almost an entire bale of hay a day. Oh, and wow. then they get um, grain as well. Underneath the neck of the reindeer, there's some longer hairs. It almost looks like a bit of a beard. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, so that's just for extra warmth. It's almost like a built-in scarf for them. So it just keeps them warm in that cold climate that they live in. And it's also a built-in life jacket, so they cross a lot of rivers and uh, lakes during their migrations, and it just helps them, helps them stay afloat and swim a lot better. The eyes on the reindeer, they're like big black marbles. Do they have fairly good vision? They have really good vision. They're actually one of the only species of mammal that we know of that can see in UV uh, light, so they can see on the UV spectrum. And that helps them uh, see their food source. So lichen will show up in high contrast in the uh, Arctic landscape. Their hooves are quite unique because not only do they have the, the front set, but they also have two long, narrow hooves on the back. Can you describe that a bit for me? Yeah, so their hooves um, are cloven and they spread out on the snow. So they're like snowshoes, essentially. It gives them more surface area. And the hooves you're talking about on the back side, those are called dew claws. So those just act as extra traction on the snow and ice. So they're kind of like ice picks to stop them from slipping. Now, when I think of reindeer, I think of antlers. So can you tell me a bit about the antlers? Deer grow antlers every single year. So they'll shed them and then grow a new pair. And reindeer are the only species of deer where the females grow antlers as well. So usually it's just the males. Magni has a little bit of fuzz on his antlers here. There's this fuzzy coating on the outside and that's called velvet. There is a network of blood vessels underneath that velvet that supplies the antler with nutrients to grow. So that's bone underneath. And uh, when the antler is done growing, that velvet, they'll rub it off. So that'll all get nice and clean and you'll just see the bone and then uh, they'll shed the antlers and they'll grow new ones next year. Are you afraid that he's gonna fly away come December 24th? It is a reindeer after all. Well, that's true. Um, the zoo is actually only closed on Christmas day. So sometimes when we come in the next day, we're a little worried that they're not gonna be in the enclosure because we're not sure what they're doing that day. 